Hey, on today EPSOD episode, we're preparing spaghetti and prepared chicken stew together. I had to parboil my spaghetti and I filled, when it boiled, I filtered it and I removed the starch. I had to wash, wash and wash. <laughs> like I washed it so well because I hate seeing clustering spaghetti. Because of this, the starch, you have to wash it very well and remove the starch. Yeah, you have to wash thoroughly. Okay, this is it. I put it back to my pot and uh, apply some water. Apply um, garnet or in order to separate each and every one of them when it's done. Then I add my salt and stir and check if the water will be enough. I apply more water and let it cook for minutes. And these are my ingredients for the stew, prepared stew. I have my red pepper, I have my yellow pepper, it's very important. <laughs> I have this carrots, green beans, green beans, tomatoes. This is this, scent, this is curry leaf, sorry, curry leaf, not scent leaf, curry leaf. And we'll get started. Please like my video and also comment, subscribe if it's your first time. Also, when you're blending your tomatoes, add your onion and your crayfish. It's very, very important. And this is it, let's get started. I put my oil first of all and I add my onion and add my blended tomatoes mixed with crayfish and onion. I add my ginger, my garlic and salt for taste. Then you leave to fry or cook, whichever way. I want my tomato to cook for 40 something minutes. Yeah. And this is my chicken and I added red pepper because it is called pepper stew. <laughs> pepper and my onion. <laughs> getting started getting started getting started please do subscribe to my youtube channel so that <laughs> i'll get like 1000 subscribers that's what i'm looking for and i'm looking up to you guys if you are new to my channel like my channel and comment if need be baby girl so allow this thing to steam i applied small water to the chicken and this is it this is up to 20 something minutes and the ground oil is already up i will see also leave to cook or to fry for next 30 something minutes and I'm back to my chicken and this is it I think I added a little water again so to come out well okay it's time for veggies if I have veggies and leave it to boil leave it to cook like this oil is going to be on top and when I test it the sour taste is already gone that's when you know that your stew is ready and set I added my onion for also for seasoning something like that I added my maggi and, and I'm adding my chicken also to cook with the tomatoes. Like these tomatoes have been boiling for the past 30 something minutes. <laughs> like I added my veggies and I like to cook a little bit. And I also left it for almost like 15 minutes also because I just wanted this to, to be dry. If I don't allow it to dry very well, it's going to be tasting sour, sour. And I hate sour things whenever I'm eating my stew. Like it's mad. And this is my curry leaf. I added my curry leaf last after I did all the veggies. I did my curry leaf last, and this is how it is. Like, ah, ah, ah. gay, 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 gay. This is pepper stew. Ah, I think this is almost ready. It's almost ready. It's almost ready. I also like it to cook for another five minutes. <laughs> the grounds are were all over the place, like all over. <laughs> and at this point, I tasted it. It was okay. Oops. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> please do not salivate though. Please, please, please do not, do not, do not, do not, baby. Do not. Mm, mm. <sighs> okay, thank you for watching. You can send your comments if you want me to prepare any other thing. 